Ain't no way everyone here is a real person. Life is a simulation and a legitimate professor has proved it. James Gates, a theoretical physicist at MIT with two bachelor degrees and a PhD, found literal computer code embedded in the most fundamental building blocks of reality called strings. Now, string theory is a tough one, but I'm gonna break it down for you in a way that an 11 year old would understand. So if you don't get this, hey, go back to grade five, bro. All right, so we got my boy Einstein's theory of general relativity, which is basically just a theory of everything big, planets, gravity, the universe, all the way back to the Big Bang. Then we got the new kid in town, quantum physics. This is the theory of everything small, like particles, atoms, and molecules, where the general laws of physics, like gravity, don't apply anymore. The same is true the other way around. Quantum laws don't apply to regular-sized physics. So we got general relativity, everything big, and quantum physics, everything small, like yo dig. But both of these realms have the same parent, the Big Bang, at which point everything that is now big used to be small. If the small can become big, then quantum and general relativity need some sort of theory that can unify them. That is string theory. What happens to the big when it's small? What happens when you zoom into an atom? You see protons and neutrons in the center with electrons all around it. Now, what about inside a neutron? Even smaller particles called quarks. So how deep does the scale go? Conventional science will tell you there's nothing inside these quarks. But string theory suggests there's a tiny filament or a string of pure energy that exists inside of them. And just like the string of a guitar vibrates and creates different sound based on its shape and tension, the strings in string theory vibrate. But instead of sound, they produce matter in the form of particles. This completely changes the way you look at the world. Every particle in the universe is just a string vibrating at a different frequency, and every vibrational pattern has its own associated particle. So if you break anything down far enough, we're all just energy vibrating at differing wavelengths to form matter. Although it's still just a theory, this would link general relativity to the quantum realm and form what is known as the theory of everything. Okay, yeah, cool. Now where is this computer code found? When Dr. James Gates took a look at a set of equations derived from string theory, he found binary code error correcting code used for compressing data on a computer. A sequence of ones and zeros, the same code that is used by popular search engines, which according to him, who has a PhD in theoretical physics from MIT, doesn't just resemble computer code, it literally is computer code. Meaning, if we break matter and energy down far enough, we eventually find compressing computer code etched into the very fabric of reality. So who wrote this code? Are we living in, dare I say, a simulation?